Historically, people have always been afraid yet fascinated with the unknown. Since they rarely occur in nature, redheads have faced many stigmas throughout history. Often associated with magic and the supernatural, many cultures define red hair in different ways. However, how much of it is actually true? Here are 30 redhead facts that will explain why they are so rare. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Redheads are more likely to be left-handed. Some research states that it is more likely for people with red hair to be left-handed due to having a recessive trait. Like their hair color, only a few people are left-handed in the Western Hemisphere. In total, this recessive trait affects around 10 to 15% of the world's population. Number 2. The ancient Greeks believed that redheads could become vampires. During ancient times, the Greeks would often brand redheads as Thracians, or people who lived north of the ancient Greeks. The Greeks believed that because of the commonly barbaric behavior of these redheads, they would turn into vampires when they die. Number 3. Gingerphobia refers to the fear of people with red hair. Gingerphobia is described as intense fear or dislike of people with red hair. In extreme cases, this phobia can lead to hatred towards redheads in general. Number 4. Mark Twain once stated that people with red hair come from cats. Aside from his novels, famed author Mark Twain is known for his claim that redheads descended from cats. This quote comes from the common belief that those with red hair are more hot-tempered than those with other hair colors. Number 5. A common belief states that redheads could become extinct in the next 100 years. Many studies have suggested that the red hair gene found in gingers could be eradicated as early as 2060. However, other scientists believe that the gene can remain dormant for multiple generations before returning. While a solid answer has not been found yet, scientists believe that as long as those with the gene conceive children, the gene can survive and pass on indefinitely. Number 6. Red hair is often more difficult to dye. Natural red hair tends to be harder to dye due to its natural pigment and firmness. To dye naturally red hair to any other color, it would require a bleaching process first to turn their hair into a blonde or lighter shade. However, this also damages the hair and makes it more prone to breaking and dryness. Normally, it would take 2-3 bleaching rounds before hair dye can stick to the hair. Number 7. Dark hair can turn red in case of severe protein deficiency. Severe protein deficiency results in kwashiorkor, a condition most often found in countries with diets high in starch and low in protein. In 1932, the symptoms were commonly found in children whose hair would turn red due to the disease. Some other manifestations of the disease include dry skin, rashes, and edema. Anemia and digestive problems are also common symptoms for those suffering kwashiorkor. Number 8. Redheads may be more prone to developing Parkinson's disease. Scientists have found that those with red hair are more likely to develop skin cancer than those who have other hair colors. This can also lead to debilitating and fatal brain disorders. Redheads become especially vulnerable due to the MC1R gene that limits the amount of dopamine released into the brain. Essentially, redheads are twice as likely to develop Parkinson's disease than someone with black hair. Number 9. The Neanderthals may have had the red hair gene as well. Research has found that pre-evolved ancestors once had a similar version of the red hair gene that causes red pigmentation of hair. However, this red color wasn't as vibrant as the one we know today. This suggests that Neanderthals did not inbreed with one another to pass on the gene. Number 10. Hitler forbade those with red hair to marry. The Auschwitz dictator stated that he forbade this union, as he believed they would produce spoiled offspring. No other explanation was given apart from this. Number 11. Redheads were once commonly sacrificed in Egypt. In ancient Egypt, redheads would be offered as sacrifices to the god Osiris. Similar to the witches of Salem, ancient Egypt would burn red-headed men and scatter their ashes with winnowing fans. Number 12. Ancient Rome valued redhead slaves much more than dark-haired ones. In ancient times, the Romans sold red-headed slaves at a higher price due to the strong demand. At the time, only a redhead slave came as a symbol of wealth and high status. Because such a low percentage of slaves had natural red hair, many others were forced to dye their hair red to be kept as trophies. 
Number 13. Redheads don't typically experience graying hair. Scientists have found that those with red hair will retain their natural pigment longer than other hair colors. As they age, redheads' hair color will fade from their natural red to a range of copper to blonde. Inevitably, though, this also fades into a silvery white once they get old enough. Number 14. The supposed wife of Adam, Lilith, was said to have red hair. Lilith was mentioned in the Bible's Old Testament, specifically in Isaiah chapter 34. While scholars debate the translation, the original text mentions a great mass of flaming red hair. Number 15. Women with red hair require more anesthesia to make them sleep. A common belief among scientists is that redheads require more anesthesia due to their lower pain tolerance. This is caused by the mutation that also affects their hair color. A 2004 study found that those with red hair do require an average of 19 to 20% more anesthesia when required to go under medical procedures. Number 16. Satan is often portrayed with red hair. This is due to red often being associated with a color of moral degradation and sexual desire. Aside from this sinister imagery, the Merovians of ancient Gaul once associated red hair with special magical abilities. Number 17. Some scholars believe that Adam had red hair. This idea mainly roots from his name, meaning red. He is also believed to have had a rosy complexion, from a passage that compared his skin tone as that of the early atmosphere. Some translations indicate that this could refer to the redness of the sunrise, which also matches the color. Number 18. Some parts of Africa still believe that redheads are connected to witches. The belief in witches and witchcraft led to several murders in the past in Africa. As a result, this adds to the cultural stigma against red hair. Number 19. Some artistic renditions of Adam and Eve depict Eve with red hair. A few of the known art pieces to depict Adam and Eve with red hair includes The Rebuke of Adam and Eve by Domenico Zampieri. Other pieces include The Garden of Earthly Delights and Eve, Serpent and Death by Hieronymus Bosch and Hans Baldengrein, respectively. Number 20. Women with red hair bruise easier than women who do not. On numerous occasions, medical experts have confirmed that redheads are more likely to bruise after surgical procedures. Research has also shown that the MC1R gene that causes red hair also alters the lining of blood vessels in the body, which causes faster bruising in redheads. Number 21. History is full of redheads. Scholars have noted that many figures that have influenced the course of history were redheads. This list includes a Roman emperor, Napoleon Bonaparte, Helen of Troy, Cleopatra, Thomas Jefferson, Vincent van Gogh, Galileo, and many more. Number 22. Pagan witches would dye their hair red to perform certain rituals. Modern pagans and indigenous shamans believe that hair is often associated with strength and vitality. Many folklore states that the power of a witch is bound up in her hair. For certain rituals, red hair is believed to give up more magical energy. As a result, Many witches dye their hair red with henna to properly perform rituals. Number 23. Bees like red-headed people more than other hair colors. Scientists believe that this may be due to the bright pigmentation of their hair that resembles flowers. Complement this with your best shampoo and you'll be sure to attract more than just bees. Number 24. Some legends state that red hair came from Atlantis. According to the legend, The prince got his red hair from his visit to the city of Atlantis, as he was fleeing from his homeland. When he arrived, the prince marveled at the bright red pigment of the sky and clouds, as his hair turned the same color. It is said that all those who have red hair today descended from the prince himself. Number 25. Redheads with blue eyes are the rarest genetic combination. This particular combination of hair and eye color are only found among a small percentage of the world's population. The odds of having both of these traits are 0.17%, which makes it extremely rare. Both traits are recessive, which makes it difficult to find in people. To make this possible, both parents must possess the gene for blue eyes as well as the MC1R gene. Number 26. A play once stated that the perfect poison includes the fat of a red-headed man. The tragedy of Bussy Dambois is a tragedy written by George Chapman and is considered his greatest play. The story is based on the real events that led to Louis de Bussy d'Ambois's murder in 1579. In the play, it is mentioned that to create the perfect poison to kill someone, it requires the fat of a redhead. 
Number 27. Tiziano Vacelli painted redhead so much that he became associated with the color red. Also known as Titan, Tiziano Vacelli was known for his redheaded paintings during the Renaissance period. Some of his most famous works include The Assumption of the Virgin, painted in 1516 and finished two years later. Tiziano Vecelli was also known for his distinct use of color and unique renderings of the human form. Number 28. Women with red hair are more sexually active compared to other colored-haired women. A German study once revealed that women with red hair are more sexually active compared to blondes and brunettes. This may be due to the social phenomenon of people finding redheads sexier and more desirable because of their rarity. Number 29. Redheads are more sensitive to changes in temperature. Research has found that not only are redheads more sensitive to pain, but they can sense changes in temperatures faster. This sensitivity is also more intense compared to those with darker hair colors. Number 30. Redheads have fewer strands of hair than the average person. On average, a redhead has around 90,000 strands of hair, while blondes will have over 140,000. However, because red hair tends to be thicker, they always appear to have a full head of hair. The internet might make you believe that they have no souls, but redheads are still your average people, save for a unique genetic makeup. Redheads only prove that being different doesn't have to be a bad thing. Beyond their stunning hair color, redheads just want to get by like everyone else. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more fact videos. For more random but real trivia, Check out facts.net and feed your mind with new things.